Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today we are going to understand floats which is uh, left float and right float as well as clear float. At the same time uh, we'll understand what is clear fix. Uh, to be specific what is the function of the class clear fix. We'll look at that. Uh, but straight away let's start off with the browser preview and even before that let's see what are the contents of my local site folder the folder where I'm actually keeping all my assets let me bring it up right now there are just two files in my local site folder or the folder where all the files are kept locally on my computer this is the HTML document people and this is a PNG image the dimensions of which are 600 by 200. Now let me uh, get the browser up in front of you. All right. Now in Google Chrome, this is the browser preview. So what's uh, happening out here? We have a division which has a thick border, um, a 5px of red colored border, solid border, which has inside it an image this is the image. Um, it's beautifully surrounded encapsulated uh, by the division by the borders right and the division also has quite a lot of padding to be uh, exact 20 px of uh, padding okay now notice out here in the opening and the closing body tags people we have a div tag with an id of box the div closes out here and this div encapsulates one single image the image that you just saw the name of which is box shadow values dot png and i'm using inline style out here through the style attribute and setting the opacity of the image to 0.8. Now, I'm going to do something and notice the change carefully. I'm going to add one more property before the opacity property and that's going to be the float property. So a float of either left or right. What this does is basically it'll float the image either to the left hand side of the diff or the right hand side of the diff let me say file and a save let me bring the browser up let me refresh and notice the change now what happens you see the division collapses uh, this image this image I've set at 80% opacity that is the reason you can still see the border underneath and the image is hanging outside the division like this. Let's get back to sublime text that is my HTML editor. Let's this time float it right. <coughs> Let's say file and a save again. Let's bring the browser up. Let's refresh. So all that the float property actually does is either shifts it you know and touches the right edge or the left edge barring the 20px of border that we have given to the division all right so but the behavior of the the div is the you know which has a red colored thick border is that if an element is floated either left or right it actually hangs out and the division collapses earlier to start off we did not have this image as a floating element but now this is a floating element uh, no matter whether I floated left or I floated right the result is that the division collapses why it doesn't collapse completely is because of the padding had I removed the padding 2 which you see which is 20 px if I temporarily remove the padding 2 let's say control x uh, control x and control s to save the document up bring the browser up like this and refresh you see the division collapses completely Let's get back to sublime text and get the padding back let's uh, save again bring the browser up and <coughs> right so we we're back to the way things were earlier 
Now, this is actually a problem. So, if I introduce a left floating or a right floating element inside a division, if this is going to happen, this is going to create some problem. I'm going to show you how to tackle this. So, I think things will become a lot clearer if I do everything from scratch. If I scrap the whole code, if I select the whole code and press delete, okay, let's save the document up and let's start doing everything from scratch. People, uh, I'm using uh, Sublime Text 2, which is my HTML editor, and it's emit enabled as a procedure that you need to follow, which allows you to code real quick. If you don't have uh, the emit package enabled, uh, you can check some tutorials on YouTube how to do that and do it yourself, or else you can just code out the normal way, the slow way. But I'm going to code out a little faster with the emit enabled uh, Sublime Text 2. Right. I'm going to write HTML colon 5, press tab to expand the code real quick. And in the title of this document, I'm going to write, let's say, um, Clearfix. Basically, we will see what the uh, class clear fix does. Right. Okay. In the body of the document, people, uh, let me bring in a division, let's say, with an ID of box. Press tab. Inside uh, this division with an ID of box, I want an image. Right. So, IMG and tab. Uh, tab to expand the code. SRC is going to be the name of the image in my local site folder. Uh, the name of the image is box shadow values dot png. Right. That's box dash shadow dash values dot png. And uh, let's say um, box shadow alternate text box shadow control s to save the document up and uh, at this point if I were to take a preview you can see the image right now let me get back to sublime text and let's push in some internal styles style and tab Right, and then tab, tab, let's enter some styles for the division box. Okay, now I would want to tab, 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 let's say give it a width of um, let's say 700 plus a height of let's say um, let's not give it a height right now let's press tab to expand the code so a width of 700 a height of tab let's say auto alright <coughs> you see people wherever I hit tab or I say tab basically I'm expanding the code through emit a code assist uh, plugin or a package okay uh, and let's say a padding of 20 px tab right and a background uh, let's say a border border of let's say 5 px solid red let's save the document up bring the browser up let's refresh okay so quite clearly uh, the image is encapsulated in a div with a thick red border and a padding of 20 px all around cool now I'm gonna introduce after the SRC and the alternate attribute another attribute the style attribute to allow some inline styles okay this is the way you're gonna do it so let's say opacity of 0.8 or 80 percent let's save the document up bring the browser up basically just you know just uh, setting the opacity at 0.8 that's all that I've done now let's uh, create some problem or trouble by setting the flow to let's say a right save the document up bring the browser up let's refresh and you see the problem 
the division collapses doesn't collapse completely because of the padding and the image hangs out like this so how do you fix it through the clearfix obviously clearfix class all right <coughs> uh, in the uh, olden days you know there was another method that was actually followed let me show you that method too what was being done earlier was let's say p a paragraph with some content so they used to you know push in some content let's say in a paragraph like this tab and they used to give this paragraph let's say a class of for example clear and then we could have a class of let's say clear out here which would use the property clear and set it to both basically this would clear both the left and the right floating elements this is uh, for this paragraph so this paragraph would clear both the left and the right floating elements let's see what was the result when this you know this method was being employed so you see since this uh, sum content would clear any left or right floating elements since this is a floating element this would make sure that this was uh, this would clear it and since this would clear it obviously uh, the division you know the image would not hang out of the division at, as it was hanging out earlier so this was the uh, primitive method that was being used but that meant that you had to actually introduce uh, an extra bit of content uh, you know see a paragraph for example out here and then you know give the class that we have actually given so this wasn't the most uh, popular method so we came up with a much better, um, uh, better method which is called the clearfix method so let me make some changes I have removed the paragraph and so let's introduce a class called clearfix instead uh, which is gonna use the content property and I'm gonna set the content empty now the content property through the content property you can actually set the content empty or anything else but the way to uh, you know the create the clear fix class is this way I'm gonna create uh, colon before colon after rules so clear fix colon before and comma dot clear fix colon after so what do the rules uh, clear fix colon before and colon after do they actually introduce pseudo elements they create some content before and after the elements with the class clear fix okay and what is the pseudo element that I wish to create basically I wish to create some empty content right and at the same time I would want uh, that this content should display itself like a table now the display property can be block or can be inline or could be table now once you uh, attach a value a push in a value for the display property as table it creates a uh, a block level element basically uh, an element that occupies the whole space from left to right so you are pushing some content and make uh, basically null content this is null content and displaying it like a table basically you are flushing the entire width from left to right not only that uh, you can uh, I need to also expand the class this way so clear fix colon after so creating a, a colon after rule and using the clear property and setting it to both now this should do the trick basically I'm creating some content before and after uh, basically some null content before and after uh, the div simply because this division has been uh, attached the class clear fix and displaying it like a table creating a, a block level element 
and then also ensuring that uh, you know it should clear both left and right float basically the null content or the content that's not gonna be rendered okay uh, should clear both the left and the right floating elements too and that should actually do the trick if I bring the browser up and refresh this time people okay there's some problem uh, let's see whether I've actually changed the save the changes now this should uh, work now yeah right so very clearly since we attach the class clearfix to both the left uh, you know to uh, class clearfix to the division with the ID box it's able to clear any left floating or right floating elements people in my example I had just one single uh, right floating element you could have multiple elements inside maybe uh, divisions which could be either left or right floated since we've used the clear property and uh, made sure that it clears both the left and the right floating elements it will indeed clear any left and uh, right floating elements people have actually checked the results in all the different browsers from IE 7 uh, and up and the different uh, contemporary browsers it absolutely works beautifully without a hiccup so go ahead use clearfix the way I've actually used to your benefit so people I hope you found this information useful you have a good day bye bye peace